I have a passion to help people with mental health issues because I've lived with a mental illness. There's been suicides within our community. We feel it, we live it, and we are the best ones to know what's best for our community. Here in Victoria, we had over 600 suicides last year. It's been clearly shown in the scientific literature that suicide is preventable and that earlier intervention is possible. I think it really is a challenge for the whole of community. Primary Health Networks are working with the state government to lead new efforts across 12 locations across Victoria. A lot of what happens in a local community is really quite unique and we need to understand better the dynamics and the partnerships that need to be built within local areas and local communities in order to drive down suicide rates. I sort of feel that there needs to be very much maybe a different way of dealing with people that um, are unwell at that particular time. It is so easy to now go back and say, oh, if that had happened, or well, that had happened, would the ending have been totally different? I really hope that this trial sees the value in lived experience. We're at the other side of the coin. We've lost people. Look at the past, what's gone wrong, and use those lessons to, to hopefully improve the system. Men are three times more likely to take their own life than women, so we're really focusing on that risk group. We hosted a men's health lunch last week in Men's Health Week that was um, very different from the normal way of doing things, which is what we want to do in suicide prevention, is to reach out to those groups that we normally wouldn't see in the health system because they are at risk and often don't know that themselves. I think suicide prevention, a key part of that is actually connecting locally. To try and apply templates from afar has been shown to be not effective. There's a high rate of suicide and we need the resources and the tools to share that information when it's needed. Primary health networks are really well placed to bring together a whole range of stakeholders in a local community. It's about everybody in a community providing that safety net to ensure that people are picked up within a network of support. We have this opportunity to create some change. Uh, some of the feedback that we've had so far is this has been the missing ingredient. There are people out in our community doing bits and pieces around suicide prevention, but what was seen as a gap is with some coordination around that. And also the ability to tailor that to what we need here. It's an opportunity for all community members, for service providers, even for business, to step up to the challenge of suicide and work together to try and reduce the risk of suicide in the community.